getting going at 7 o'clock. Could have done better. Wanted to do better. Just going to have to work on that. Think I'm getting the hang of getting the bear can into the backpack. Not for sure. One thing that happened is got my backpack packed and then realized my cell phone was still in my electronics bag. So time to get going. Backpack feels a lot better without three liters. Came up from that way. Pack feels pretty good. And I feel pretty good, but I'm sucking wind pretty hard. Not quite up over 10,000 yet. But starting to see patches of snow. Oh, well, going that way. I'm at 10,200 foot. I guess I was looking too far ahead last night before bed. I thought I was just going to keep going up and up and up. I'm going to get up above 10,500 and then hang out up around 10,000 for a while. And if I make it over 11,000, maybe 11,500, that won't be until late in the day. So... I'm going to make that my goal. I'm at 10,500. Starting to get some snow. I'm going to hold off on putting on the spikes until it looks like it's going to keep going. But right now, uh, in the morning, it's frozen good and solid. So now's where the spikes really work well. It's Owen Valley. This lookout's big deal. Some people have cell service, but I have Verizon, and I do not. Kind of hazy. There's a ghost town, Cerro Gordo, down there. Some of this valley I read about in that museum in Mojave. Kind of cool. Going around, and up. came from that way, around 10,700 foot, last three miles were pretty steep, and I think that's going to be the hardest climb of the morning, or of the day, hopefully I'm right, going that way, getting ready to do a little ups and downs, and then work my way down to, I don't think I'm going to get below 9,000 foot. Coming up from that way. Now a little bit of downhill. Went around through there. In 2017, pretty sure I made camp over here. Saw lights down below, uh, got out my AT&T phone, had enough signal to arrange with the trail angel that picked me up in Kennedy Meadows. It was either that tree, I don't think that tree was down yet, so I think I camped right over there. Might not be impressive to y'all, but 
kind of neat for me. And I think I'm going around that way. So the trails over there, looks like there might not be any on trail water for like six or seven miles. But there's supposed to be a spring about two tenths of a mile this way. So I'm gonna go check it out. I'm two tenths of a mile from the trail and the spring is actually another tenth of a mile. But the snow melt is flowing well enough that I'm going to filter me, probably filter two or three liters, and then just drink one before I get going. It's almost 11 o'clock, and the trail crossed over to the east side of the mountains. And there seems to be a few more snow drifts than on the west side. Still nothing concerning. And when I came down from 10,700, there's going to be about a nine mile stretch where I just kind of bounce between 9,500, 10,500 until the end of the day. And if I get up over that, still just above 10,000 foot, it's 1130. And I've been feeling very comfortable, even though the thermometer was still around 45. It's up to 50 right now. But I sat down and took a break because look at all the great sitting logs around here. And we got some cloud cover. And all of a sudden, I find myself feeling cool. This isn't on the map. I've still got a leader on my pack. So I had four days of food sent to me at Kennedy Meadows. And today I should be getting to the trailhead that exits the Lone Pine. And I've only eaten two days worth. I also bought two more days worth at Kent Kennedy's Meadows. So I have four. So I'm going to try to skip going to Lone Pine at Cottonwood Pass and go on up over the passes. Uh, of course, if it looks gnarly and I don't have a buddy with me, I'll stop and I'll come back or do whatever. Uh, so I'm not so much worried about miles, the number, as I am positioning myself for the snow tomorrow. Past another southbound hiker, turns out we had a lot in common. I don't know how long we stayed there and talked, but we kept saying, okay, we gotta stop, we gotta go. So, I'm a menace. If you see me on trail, don't even say hi or I'll stop and talk to you for a half hour. I had to put on the sunglasses. This is almost as bad as snow. So I'm coming up from down there. I'm starting the uphill. It's gonna be uphill for the next nine miles. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. And even though I've only gotten 10 miles done, I don't know if I've got nine miles in me. Uh, part of that's gonna be on the north face, which means it'll be covered in snow. Seems like there was something else I was going to mention, but I don't know what came from over there. Over 10,000 foot. I don't think I'm over 10,500 yet, but I'm on the way going around there. 
came up from over there. I'm at 10,400 foot. It's gonna be a little bit before I get over 10,500. And is anybody else getting tired of me talking like that? 10,500, 10,400. I think I'm gonna shorten it to 10K. So 10,400 would be 10.4K. Sound better? Let me know what you think. This is Mulkey Pass. I came from that way. Going that way. What's the difference between a pass and a saddle? I don't know. It looks like my screen's a little foggier, my lens. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Hopefully that hasn't been that way all day. Well, I'm going that way. Over there is Trail Peak, or that's Trail Peak, and over there is Trail Pass. Meadows everywhere. Wind's picking up. Not sure how many of the hikers hiking today are getting off at Trail Peak. Or trail pass and how many are pushing through but I'm almost there it's got to be like around 3 o'clock in the afternoon Well, this is Trail Pass. And the trail, I think, is going to go over to the south side. If it's firm, not a problem. If it's slushy, it is. And can go that way to get to, what, I think Cottonwood Pass and get down to Lone Pine. But like I said, I've got four days of food, so I'm going to try to keep going. And it's 2.30, not 3. Of the two miles on the north face, I've done half of one. And so far the snow's just been annoying. Nothing scary. It's also been pretty slushy in spots. So I'm not sure if the spikes would do me much good. Still kind of neat. I guess for the last mile, I've actually been on the northeast face because now it turned uh, came around a corner and this is on the north side. I've seen a lot more snow. Hopefully that means it's also firmer. I'll give the spikes a try. Not going as fast as I would on dry ground. I'm not going as slow as I have on snow before. Mostly I just had to stop. Take this in. That's a view. Alright, continuing around the north side. Got three quarters of a mile left. I don't know if uh, anybody less experienced than me is watching this. But if so, if you're planning on getting into snow... Sunglasses aren't really a good idea. They're almost required. Otherwise, this is blinding. Uh, I think you can even burn your retinas or whatever. Snow blindness, I think they call it. Something I just thought of because there was a hiker back at Kennedy Meadows. We were talking and realized that he didn't have any uh, sunglasses. And that got put on the to-do list. So it took me an hour and a half that two mile stretch 
and a lot of that was going up and down trying to get back to the trail. Now the trail is going to go over to the south face, so I'm going to find a good spot to sit down, take off the spikes, maybe drink a little water. Nice dry trail. And I figured this would be the answer, but I wondered why did we have to go around the north side of Trail Peak? That's why. Hopefully I get a shot of this view without trees in the way. coming from that way uh, it's five o'clock I've done 16 miles uh, took a liter drank half of it figure in two and a half miles there's a lake that should have outlet flowing and just too early to quit uh, most of that looks like it's on either the west or the uh, south face so it should be all right I went across there, post told a lot, trail goes over there somewhere, I didn't know it because it was under snow, so right now I'm going to get up on those rocks, try to get over, back to the trail, still kind of cool. Not that anybody asked. I'm over 11k now. Came from this way once I found the trail. And whereas kind of going over onto a north face, it's kind of in a saddle, so I don't know how much shadow it's in. Time's slipping away from me. 545. It's about a mile and a quarter to that lake. But some of the slow had, snow had me going a little slow. And the trail's going to curve around on a northwest face. So, let's see what that looks like. Changed my mind. It was really hard. I'm trying to make smart choices. Looked like a lot of snow and rocks going around that corner. So, I came back. I'm going to find a dry spot. Collect some snow melt. Make dinner. And just try to get up early tomorrow. Whenever I have the spikes will really work on this snow and I can just fly around there. There's supposed to be a campsite around here. It was kind of hard to tell exactly where that was supposed to be. I saw this rock with the scorch marks around it. Remnants of a fire. So this looks like a good flat spot. Start setting up tent or uh, camp. Maybe I'll have a little campfire myself. I had to walk a little ways to find this. It's like as soon as the sun got behind some of the trees, snow melt started to turn off. I'll probably end up using a scoop to collect it. It's the bottom of a Sawyer squeeze bag. Carried one just for times when the water's too shallow to fill a bag. The people that tell you a bear can isn't so bad always like to say, well, you always have some place to sit. I would rather sit on the ground than carry that thing. But I don't have a choice. Tonight, I'm going to do beans, rice, shredded pork, and olive oil. And I'm going to put on my last dry pair of fluffy socks i have two more pair but they have holes and need to be uh exchanged in town uh my hand i was going to do three liters of water my fingers got cold and stiff 
But after wearing the wool gloves I had sent to me, doing better. My thermometer said 40 degrees outside. Had it in the tent for a while. Let's see, can you read that? Looks more like 45. I know it's going to get cold tonight. And how much frost I have inside the tent is going to be dependent on how much condensation I get. So I'm debating whether to close the door and limit the airflow or leave it open. I think I'm going to start off with it open and I can always close it later. But it is about 8 o'clock. I'm going to bed. I'm not editing videos. Not doing anything.